Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Clash Row here. What I got for you today is the next episode of my push to Titans League, and we are going in with some Lava Lunion attacks, guys, in this episode. This episode is going to be crazy, guys. I didn't do a lot of two-star rates. I just found a lot of good offers in this video that got me and notched me a lot of good trophies and notched me up a few of uh, extra, like, 100 trophies, guys, from the, the last episode. The last episode, we finished off above uh, 3,500. Still going to be in Champions 2 in this episode, though. Nothing big, not league change in here. But we did gain... Uh, a lot of trophies so on this raid we did have to snipe a couple buildings on the outside to get closer to that 50 percent maybe we can go for that town hall now the clan castle is still up so we don't know what's in it we don't know what to expect right all right so i didn't know how well this raid was going to go my king queen definitely going straight to the middle and there's nothing inside the cc this was perfect a nice two star raid to start off my session it was good for seven trophies and that's a good raid guys up here anytime you want to take it so next come across this base and i'm seeing these bases a lot more frequently uh, frequently, frequently, <laughs> but uh, you know, you're, these bases are appearing a lot more. This is like the most popular base, I would have to say, right now. Uh, the this this is kind of like a southern teaser, they want you to attack from the top, even though it's enclosed. And if you attack from the top, you definitely are gonna be able to get the two star if you deploy everything right. But attacking from the bottom, like I do right here, is a more safer way of getting a one star. And not losing the raid because you'll actually if you don't and things don't go well at the top it's either you get the town hall or you don't if you don't even come close to getting the town hall and both furnace are still up you're notched around like 30 somewhere between 30 and 40 percent and that's low to go for especially with only two heroes and that love this the level of my heroes so i knew i was gonna play it safe got some percentage going up there i was gonna try on the left side to go for the town hall but knowing my heroes, they wouldn't have gotten in, so I just ended the battle as soon as I popped my Queen's ability. Just stealing some extra loot from the storages, and we notched 8 trophies off of a 1 star, so if I was able to 2 star that base, that would have been pretty good. So this next base, this guy was a, a pretty, uh, he was a pretty good offer, so we're coming again from the right side, and this one was, this was another one of those raids where it was clutch. I'm starting to see a lot more wizards and stuff in the clan castles, guys. Um... So, they're dangerous, yeah, yeah, especially if you don't deploy your poison spell. I deployed my poison spell a little late. Should have, I, I like to save my poison spell towards the end when skeleton traps pop up. So, the percentage is actually kind of low, guys. We're actually not where I want to be, and we're only at 40%, but we're notching some uh, uh, some buildings on the outside. Now, if I can get the percentage up a little bit more, I could have probably went for the town hall, but a lot of defense is still up. So, I decided to use my king and queen on the outside, right there on the uh, dark elixir pump. And they're going to notch me into 50% easily, guys, with no problem. King's unfortunately going to go down. Queen's still got a royal ability, so she'll definitely get a few more shots off. And it was actually a lot closer than it needed to be. And we only notched five trophies off a 15-trophy offer. You really want to try to do two stars as best you can, guys. It, it will help you. So this raid right here, I went in towards the single-target Inferno Tower, which was a bad idea at first now that I thought about it. You always want to go kind of towards the multi. Actually, he had two single. That's why I attack this guy, yeah. When, when you're using Lava Union, finding like raids like this where he's got like two single target Inferno Towers. So the raid was not actually going well at all for me. Where the percentage is really low. I have no idea where they go in. But the minions on the outside are really do come in clutch right here. They're going to actually get the percentage up a little bit higher. And we're actually going to have a few minions take out that Dark Elixir storage. Which is going to be good because now the percentage is going to be above, uh, almost above 40%. So we're going to come in from the bottom because it's the safest position to come in from. So King's going down. He's gonna take. He's gonna tank for the Queen. King's ability about to be used here soon. Not many defenses that were at the bottom of the base. Now that I realize it, that Tesla was not there. We actually took the Tesla. Uh, we could have used a couple minions to snipe. So we ended up only getting a one star on this base, unfortunately, getting six trophies. And it was just still a good raid, and you know. But this session, the reason why this was a good session is I kept finding raids like this, guys. Town hall snipes on the outside worth like you know, four cups, one cup, two cups. There was a lot of them. I found about like seven, and town hall snipes don't come very often in Champions League. But when they do, they're actually a, they're they're a lot more I would have to say than at Master League. So here's another town hall snipe. It's showing you guys that I'm getting a couple town hall snipes, four trophies. Now these next couple raids, this next one, this was my first whale offer I think in in Champions League. This guy was in Champs One, I do believe. And he was a 35 cup offer, which is amazing, guys. It, it, 
I wanted to two-star this guy so bad, guys. I, I, w I did, I, let's just say I did try for it. I think I did, at least. Or the percentage wasn't high enough, and I kind of just wanted to uh, be safe and go for the safe one-star. Because the clan castle was still up, guys. We didn't know it was in the CC. I think I tried learning it out, and uh, there was a lava hound or something. So I think we're at 44%. I'm going to open up some compartments, try to get my, I want to get my queen in there. I'm going to use my king on the outside, and I'm going to try to stand in my queen for that town hall compartment. So there it goes down the king. King's gonna definitely get us to 50% here eventually. Percentage going up, just waiting for it. Now I'm gonna send in my queen. Hopefully she can get on the, the town hall. So I'm having to use her royal cloak ability really early. And she unfortunately is not gonna get it. So we only got six draw. Oh no, this wasn't the huge offer. No, that was only a 18 cup offer. I think this one was the huge offer right here. Coming into this base, guys, I like I, I attack from the top on this base. Like you said, you're gonna see this base a lot on my series because everyone's just using it. I deployed my balloons wrong. Uh, I'm starting to use three Lava Hounds in my own camps and bring in balloons in my CC, which I'm actually loving this strategy, guys. It's it's an amazing strategy. I mean, because you don't have to worry about your your clan donating you a, a max uh, hound, which my clan actually doesn't have because we're a bunch of Town Hall 9s that haven't maxed our hounds because we use Go Hog, not Go La Loot. So, Having hounds, having to wait for a hound, someone to train up a hound is like really bad <laughs> for me. So I just, I just kind of, everyone's got level six loons, whether in my clan, it, whether they're town hall eight or town hall nine, because we have the one troop bonus, so I can get level six loons just like that. So I go in and try for the two star because I was like, oh, I really want this, but out came a lava hound. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it, and I got eleven trophies off a of one star, guys. It was a thirty-five cup offer. So this one, I kind of was feeling a little bit cocky and I was like okay I'm gonna veto tack in this base from the top because I want to go in I think it was easy because one of the air sweepers was actually being able to be frozen so balloons into the core base everything's looking really good minions going down now uh, percentage is actually really low on um, this is what I'm talking about guys if you don't get it this is what's gonna happen to you that queen was just shooting all my minions and pups down and we actually only were able to get 35% of this base down so the percentage is really low Having to really, really think about where to come in from. I thought for a second I was going to lose this raid. and got really close here at the end, but actually the queen actually... There we go. I, uh, it wasn't as close as I thought it was going to be. So king actually going to wait to use the special ability. You usually use it right off the bat, especially if it's above 40%. So queen's going to snipe some more stuff. we got uh, a couple archers on the outside on those builder huts, and there's a 50%, guys. Nice and easy. Now I'm going to let this raid play out because right there, the dark elixir. I think I can get it with the queen. We still need to upgrade her to level uh, 20. Try to get her to the, the max here anytime soon. But we knocked seven trophies off of that. It was like a 24 cup offer. And let's head back to base. And so we finished off at 3,709 trophies, guys. That is awesome. That is my new personal best. We actually had some cannons finish here. Some archer towers finish up there. Uh, another archer tower down here. And I believe another cannon. I didn't think I showed you. Another cannon right there. So we got actually four of our defenses down and we're actually maxing out an inferno tower which will be good for our base let's take a look at our defense log we're doing pretty well in defense guys i'll put my tunnel on the outside and look at that only losing one cup at a time that's something that you love to see so looking at our attack log looking really good guys we actually did take a minus 28 unfortunately on that one but we it was such a good session guys so thank you guys for watching this series make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm out guys peace